Sagittarius. Welcome to Willow Oak. I am here to do a reading for you. And this is for the month of June. But it's also timeless, you know, since time is actually fluid. So it's whenever you find it. Please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. And you might check your other placements for a more complete picture or if this does not resonate with you, okay? And also, when um, deciding, please use your intuition to help guide you, okay? Frog spirit, clear out the clutter. So this could be talking about, you know, a spring cleaning kind of thing. But it's either most likely or it includes clearing out the internal clutter. You know, challenging thoughts, things like that. Go through and spend some time sorting through that, processing it, and removing it. Because there's probably something that wants to come into your life and it needs a space to do so. Plus, it's very healthy to get rid of the baggage, right? You have seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy, and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. That is just beautiful. So, it definitely looks like this is a spiritual time. Mm -hmm. And it's letting you know that spirit is everywhere in everything, including you. So, I do think there's a connection there. You know, clear out the clutter, make some room for the divine. Nothing is yet set in stone. So, that means everything is still up in the air, right? And it will be up to you to make the decision. Okay, let's see what your overall energy is during this time. All right, this is saying it is time for you to move on. And if you notice the green in here and here mm -hmm, and some in here. But yes, it is saying it's time to move on to your happiness, your joy, where you feel you belong, your bliss. All right. And in order to do that, it looks like you're going to need to make some space. So you can go forward with this. All right, now let's find out a little bit about your past energy. Most likely your recent past. But yeah, I think this is a lovely reading so far. Clearing out that clutter will make room for the divine, make room for you to go forward. However, nothing is set in stone. Okay, your recent past. Make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options and maybe addictions. So what this is saying is you have many choices. And you need to pick the ones or one that is right for you. And if you already know, great. You know, make your choices. If you don't, do your research. Because sometimes all the choices are wonderful or good. Sometimes not so much. So make wise choices for you. Okay. So in line here, this kind of fits in beautifully to me. Clear out the clutter and make the choice or choices of what is right for you. And here, you know, you're having this new beginning. You're going where you're happy, where you want to be. Okay, let's see your current energy. Okay, your current energy is a lucrative energy. 
it is where you are very happy and content with your abundance. Enjoying the fruits of your labor, hard work that has led to a luxurious life, buying yourself something special, happily and successfully self-employed, and or enjoying your solitude. So this looks like, you know, outwardly at least, you're very happy. Now, do you enjoy your solitude or do you not? You know, you have to ask these questions. But it looks like you are very happy. Mm -hmm. But you still, there's still a part of you that looks like you want change. Maybe you're ready to go out and be around people or not work so hard, whatever the case may be. Only you will know. But we will take clarifying cards. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. Ah, beautiful. Your um, future energy is a new beginning. It is the Ace of Earth. And what this is, is a windfall of abundance, wise counsel, or good fortune. An exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or vehicle. And that is a wow. So both of these are pentacles energies, and they're both the kind of energies that are overflowing with abundance. All right? And at the bottom of the deck, from taking this, you have victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, or scholarships. So... This is saying you are going to be making the wise, right choices. Okay? Make sure you clear out that clutter. Mm-hmm. And make the wise choices, which it says that you are. But here, I, I keep going back to this. Nothing is set in stone. It's all up to you as to what you want and the choices you make. But regardless... It is saying that this is going to be a wonderful time because you're going to be victorious and it's a very abundant time for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have the King of Wands in your recent past. And that is a mature energy, but it is one where the King of Wands is so passionate. He goes for what he wants and he tends to get it. Okay. And these two cards are very much alike, only this one is saying that you've done everything you can and it is time to move on. So, I had an inkling with this. There might be something that you are not pleased with, okay? And you are ready to go for your happiness, which is your current energy. You're ready to leave where you are and go to where you feel you belong. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more. The moon. Yeah. There is something that you feel that you don't know. Possibly really don't know. And it is saying you need to use your intuition. Like when selecting these choices. Right? Use your intuition. It will guide you correctly. Okay, let's go on to your current energy. <laughs> Love that. Time of celebration. Get together with the people you love and care about and celebrate. And for me, this is also your support system. If for any reason you need help, help is here for you. And... You have the Two of Cups, which is unconditional love with another. And it doesn't have to be romantic. It can. But it can also be unconditional love between you and your higher self. Right? Let's see what else we have. The star. Okay, this could potentially be a charmed reading. Uh-huh. This is saying, if there's anything that's happened in the past that was hurtful, Here's the healing for that. And that is here for you, which is beautiful. And it's also just like, say, the 
You know how you wish upon a star? What you want really can come true. It's up to you, right? But if you want it to, go for it because it can come true. Now, let's go to the future. <laughs> A new beginning. And this beginning is one that is filled with love. Actually, it's pouring over with love. Okay. And this one, it's not really a warning, but it is a caution moment. This is saying, make for sure that you are being true to you. Make for sure that the decisions you are making are the ones that are really what you want, that are on the inside, not just what you think you need to do or what somebody wants you to do, but your truth. Follow your truth, okay? All right, let's get one more. Beautiful. Another new beginning. Okay, wonderful. This one is a new beginning that you are very passionate about. And you are going for your passion. So that would say to me, you are following your truth. In the future, you have... If you stop and take a look here, three aces, three new beginnings, and they're all different. This is pentacles, this is wands, and this is cups. A lot of financial happiness, wealth, etc. Much passion and much love. The only other one besides these new beginnings is make for sure you're being true to yourself which is huge. And at the bottom of the deck from taking these cards, you have victory. And look up here. At the bottom of this deck is victory. The universe's way of saying I meant what I said. This is an absolutely beautiful reading. Okay? It truly is. The very first part, though, is clear out the clutter. If there's anything that you know is not your truth, you need to clear it out. Okay, let's get some advice from the universe. Make for sure you're making yourself a priority. If you need rest, rest. If you need to take time to play, do that too. Okay, it's important and you have too many cards here. Okay, I'll try to do these as quick as I can. The Magician. It's a card of manifesting. It's saying that you have everything with you and within you to create the reality you want. You have the hangman, which is using your intuition. It's saying if you, you know, you have some questions, go inside and use your intuition to answer those questions. It could be like what choices to make. And here you have the nine of swords, which is the fastest moving knight in the deck. And they have their goal. And their goal is to achieve their goal as quick as possible. But they're also very clear thinking. And they have wisdom. So you're very clear in this. But something to quickly point out. Where, well, where did it go? Maybe it's not here. No, it's not here. Never mind. I thought there was another card here that is not. Make for sure that you don't go so fast that you miss something, okay? Go quickly if that's your choice, but be thorough as well. And here you have the chariot, which is a very powerful energy of you going for what you want. And then finally, you have the queen of swords, who is all about the truth. She's a mature energy. She's a no frills energy, but she's a mature energy. And she wants the truth. And now here, remember the truth. Be true to yourself. And here the, the universe is saying be true to yourself, okay? Now I want to read this one more time because to me, this kind of encompasses a lot of this reading. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. 
We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. So make for sure that spirit is a part of this, all right? And the decision is yours. Nothing is set in stone. But everything here certainly looks like you are going forward with this. Having all these beautiful new beginnings and definitely victorious. But it all starts with clearing up that clutter. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull three cards. Oops, that flipped over. Face down. So if you have a question and you would like to pick a card to see what it might say for your answer, please do. I'm going to put card one, two, and three down. Okay, here we go. One, two, and three. Okay, so if you have your question ready, here we go. Remain positive, helpful people, and compromise. Looks like a beautiful reading. I hope you have a wonderful month. And um, if you like this reading or find it helpful, please give it a like, share, subscribe. It will help the channel to grow, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful month. Much love. Bye.